If you want to target flathead catfish, this video is going to help you know where to find them and how to catch them. Today we're going to use this fallen tree to simulate an underwater structure where you would find flathead catfish. So I've set up a rope right here to simulate the water line, which will give us a pro probably about a depth about six foot deep. Now what I want you guys to think about is where do you think the flatheads would be inside of this root ball or fallen tree? Take a minute, think about it, and we'll see where they're at. Alright, you guys ready? You think you know where the flatheads are going to be? I've put nine green pool noodles out there to show you where these flatheads would potentially be in this fallen tree. Check it out. As you can see, the flatheads are positioned throughout the water column in this fallen tree. So how would you target these flatheads? If you want to use live bait is number one for flatheads. They will bite on cut bait, but your best chance of catching a flathead catfish is with live bait. So in today's demonstration, this will be our live bait. Let's get started. Now a couple things we have to understand about the flathead catfish. Number one, their eyes are located on the top of their head so they are looking upwards as well as their mouth is designed like a bass for example where their lower jaw sticks out past the upper jaw so they're designed to strike in an upward manner that being said how many of the fish in this demonstration are likely to see your bait let's talk about rigs rig number one the carolina rig carolina rig is a simple setup with a sliding weight, barrel swivel, and a leader line that sits mainly on the bottom. So let's simulate what would happen if you had a bait rig with the Carolina rig. Because flathead catfish have this underbite, it does make it a little bit more difficult for them to pick up something off of the bottom. They have to turn sideways and inhale to suck that bait in to pick it up off the bottom. Whereas if it's above them, they just go right up after it and grab it. Another rig that can be used is a Santee Cooper rig. Santee Cooper rig is basically a Carolina rig with a peg float on it, which keeps your bait floating up to help prevent it from getting down on the very bottom. Other rig that would do that for you is the three-way rig or the Kentucky rig, or as Steve Douglas calls my favorite rig, the ditch rig. Now we're going to set up with a bobber rig or a type of suspended rig. We've got our bait fish on there and we're going to cast them out let's see what happens. As you can see now our bait is higher up in the water column and is visible by more flatheads. So this flathead would swim out because he notices the bait. His eyes are on top of his head. So he sees it swimming or he senses the vibrations. He comes out to feed, opens his jaw, sucks it in and he's got it. Hopefully this demonstration has helped you understand how to target flatheads in fallen tree structure etc. One thing that I do want to point out is I've had the privilege of swimming with these animals and I've studied them a little bit on my own. One of the misperceptions that I believe is that flatheads, people say flatheads are territorial. I agree but not in the sense that most people think. I believe that flatheads are territorial on a smaller scale. They do hang out in groups like you see in this tree behind me but they like their very specific spot. I always say it's like your lazy boy when you get home from work. You don't want your kids or your wife sitting there. You want to be in your spot and you don't mind if they come and hang out right next to you but that's your spot. So if you catch one flathead in a spot like this chances are there's gonna be more. As always thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.